the 42-inch LG C3, the 48-inch LG C3, the 55-inch LG C3, the 65-inch LG C3, the 77-inch LG C3, the 83-inch LG C3, the 55, 65, and 77-inch LG G3 with MLA OLED panel, as well as the larger 83-inch G3 without MLA. These are some of LG's new OLED TVs I saw at the company's European convention in Frankfurt, but I was only given enough time to measure one model. While the 4K flagship LG G3 OLED has rightly hogged the limelight since launch, thanks to the use of brightness-boosting MLA or Micro Lens Array technology in certain screen sizes, I decided to put my meters on the 65-inch LG C3 for reasons I will explain later in this video. Using a calorimetry research CR100 calorimeter profile to a CR250RH spectral videometer, I measured a peak brightness of 800 nits on a 10% window in HDR filmmaker mode with dynamic tone mapping disabled, and 155 nits full fill. If we plot the HDR peak brightness measurements at different window sizes on a chart, Hopefully, you can see that the ABL or Automatic Brightness Limiter profile of the 65-inch LG C3 is very similar to that measured on last year's LG C2 of the same screen size. This shouldn't come as a surprise, since the C3 is not equipped with either the brighter MLA OLED panel or a heatsink reserved for the step-up G3 Gallery OLED series. DCI P3 color gamut coverage measured 99% in UV terms whereas REC 2020 coverage was 77%, which is as expected from a WRGB OLED panel of WBE variant, as proven by the spectral power distribution showing a narrower blue half-width, as well as clearer separation between the green and red peaks. As is often the case with WBE OLED panels without MLA technology, some pink tinting would be visible from an angle, particularly obvious on full-field white. PQ UTF tracking on the 65-inch LG C3 sample I measured was impressively accurate in HDR filmmaker mode out of the box without further calibration. With the tone curve adapted to max CRL metadata to retain more bright highlight detail in content graded to 4000 nits. Delving into the user menu, I saw a number of changes from what's found on last year's LG C2. 1. If you go into the general submenu, scroll down and click on external devices, then click on HDMI settings, there is now a new 444 pass-through setting to reproduce full 444 chroma for playing games especially on PC, so you no longer need to go through the convoluted process of enabling PC mode by labeling the HDMI port as PC. Note that with 444 pass-through engaged, a large chunk of picture settings will become grayed out and unadjustable, such as the contrast and black level settings in the brightness submenu, the color setting and the color management system in the color submenu, as well as every setting including noise reduction and true motion in the clarity submenu. Fortunately, you can still adjust the color temperature together with two point white balance controls to obtain D65 white point. Also, it is important to remember that switching on 444 pass through for the first time is like selecting a new untouched picture preset from scratch, so you will have to redo all your settings, including changing the default auto power safe picture preset to game optimizer mode, and disabling the energy saving setting. Talking of which, the energy saving setting has moved locations, again, within LG's 2023 picture menu. On 2021 LG OLED televisions such as the C1, the setting was buried deep in the support submenu, where you had to click on OLED care, then device self-care, then energy saving before you can switch energy saving step from the default value of auto to off. By the time 2022 LG OLEDs such as the C2 roll around, the setting had been moved to the general submenu. What you needed to do was to click on OLED care, then device self-care, then energy saving, then disable energy saving step. On the LG C3, the setting is now available directly at the bottom of the general submenu, making it slightly easier to access and disable so as to avoid ruining picture quality. But let's be honest, it has undergone more movement than Tesla's share price every time Elon Musk tweets. 
Another new setting I spotted in the user menu was quick media switching, an HDMI 2.1 feature that uses VRR technology to prevent black screens when switching, for example, from 24Hz to 60Hz and vice versa from compatible devices with QMS support, such as the latest Apple TV 4K box. Talking about HDMI 2.1, Every LG C3, including this 65-inch model, is blessed with 4 HDMI 2.1 ports, which means that you can hook up 3 HDMI 2.1 sources, such as a Sony PS5, an Xbox Series X, and a high-end PC with NVIDIA or AMD graphics card, and still have one HDMI socket left for ER connection. For gaming, input lag measured 13 milliseconds at 60 frames per second which can be reduced slightly to 9 milliseconds by changing prevent input delay from standard to boost in the game optimizer submenu. At 120 frames per second, input lag came in at 4.7 milliseconds, which is as fast as you can get on a 120Hz TV. When you take into account this class-leading input lag, 4 HDMI 2.1 ports, and accurate PQ UTF tracking with HGIG engaged, the LG C3 is shaping up to be one of the best TVs you can buy for playing games in 2023. Of course, the flagship LG G3 should deliver even better picture quality largely due to its brighter MLA OLED panel, but I think the C3 will be more popular among gamers for several reasons. 1. The LG C3 is available in smaller screen sizes such as 42 and 48 inches which can fit into a bedroom or be used as a PC gaming monitor. 2. The C3 will come with a tabletop stand included in the box, unlike the G3 which ships with only a wall mount bracket, since it's designed to be hung on a wall. And most importantly, the LG C3 will be less expensive than the G3, making the former more accessible to the masses. The 42-inch C3 will have the same duck feet design as last year's 42 C2, complete with 4 HDMI 2.1 ports at the back of the television. Larger sizes, such as the 48-inch LG C3, the 55-inch LG C3, the 65-inch LG C3, the 77-inch LG C3, and finally the 83-inch LG C3 will all sit on a central tabletop stand which doesn't take up much space, and so can fit on a narrower AV rack. At LG's convention in Frankfurt, the G3s on show were wall-mounted, since that's how they are designed to be used. The largest 83-inch G3 was displayed facing away from the smaller 55, 65, and 77-inch G3 OLEDs, probably to avoid showing up the absence of MLA OLED panel on the 83 G3. Other OLED TVs I saw at the LG European convention included the 88-inch 8K flagship Signature Series Z3 OLED, as well as the company's Pose Lifestyle OLEDs launched last year available in 3 screen sizes including an adorable 42-inch version, underlining the fact that LG Electronics offers more OLED television models than any other manufacturer on the market right now. If you are undecided about which LG OLED to buy, one place where you can get good advice is at Richer Sounds, a trusted British AV retailer with more than 50 stores in the UK as well as a secure e-commerce platform for online purchases. If you join the company's VIP club, you will also get 6 years warranty included on the vast majority of TVs. So visit your local Richard Sounds store or online at richardsounds.com for your next TV purchase. Thanks again for your support. Okay, while I expect the LG C3 to deliver outstanding value for money, if you want the very best picture quality from LG this year, you will have to go with the 4K flagship G3 OLED featuring MLA or Micro Lens Array technology. To find out more about the LG G3 and how MLA works, please watch my first look video by clicking here.